has sought leave to present a public petition in accordance with Standing Order 22. The member will have up to three minutes to speak. I call Ms Paula Bradshaw. Um, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I'm pleased to bring this issue to the urgent attention of the Assembly. I'm thankful that the Health Minister is in attendance this afternoon to hear this. Everyone in the Chamber will at least know someone close to them who has been affected by cancer. Everyone in this Chamber knows the severity of the difficulty and stress it can cause to families, to family circles, to workplaces and to people in every walk of life. We cannot therefore fail to be aware of the crushing unfairness of denying access to drugs for people who are going through all of that. At the precise time that the health service should be on their side, when they have paid the same taxes and national insurance as everyone else in the UK, people in Northern Ireland find themselves at a blatant disadvantage purely because of where they live. Far from being helped out, they find yet another obstacle placed in their way. The position that people living in one part of the UK have access to life-enhancing drugs while people living in another have not is indefensible and has gone on far too long. It is the basic principle, we pay in the same, we should get the same out. The system as it currently stands is unequal and it is unjust. It is small wonder that the petition I'm submitting today on behalf of the campaign struck such a chord with the public. Let us not be diverted by any notion that money may be an issue here. Health ministers can always find allocations of tens of millions for various things when elections are on the horizon. Indeed, we found millions in the summer without a business case to subsidise an airline, and we've just found millions this morning to prop up a regional airport. Whatever the rights or wrongs of these decisions, the fact is the budget required to deliver equal access to drugs is but a drop in the ocean of the overall health and social care budget. So, so often as it is, it is not merely about money, it is about the system. Let me say a word about Melanie Kennedy, who, who has been working on this petition. This remarkable woman, frankly, could have worked around the system. She could have perhaps taken a friend's address in England or such like. However, recognising the injustice and determined to fight for others as well as herself, at risk to her own health, she came forward and campaigned for what is right. If everyone deserves a successful outcome, it is her. The courage of many other campaigners like Melanie, so many of whom are already undergoing treatment for cancer or who have people close to them who are, is also remarkable. There are, there are two numerous to, to, to mention. What we are calling for is the Minister to look again at the, the relationship with the NICE guidance in terms of access to these drugs. And we would like her to make this a top priority for the Health Department. Thank you. Minister of Health and a copy also to the committee. Thank you very much.